Welcome to the British Republic, a large social experiment to discover if one man and his YouTube channel can truly rule in the name of entertainment and gamers all over our great kingdom. Come for our unspoiled landscapes, beautiful beaches, and if you like, why not stay? Visit the idyllic lakeside hamlet of Hambrook, or take a stroll up to the top of our most famous Mount Moon, the British Republic, taking the world one disaster at a time. What's up everybody and welcome to a whole new map, the British Republic, a made up slice of the uh, UK that we're going to be building together. It's been a few weeks uh, since I've actually been able to upload anything. I've done loads of time lapse videos which I have been able to upload, but sadly my save was corrupted, but that's not, not all is lost, because uh, all that means is that we're going to be able to build this wonderful new uh, slice of England together and we can do it from the beginning as well. So I've only made a very tiny piece at the moment. I've got it as far as I can do before we start unlocking anything serious. I don't think we've even unlocked trees, but that's enough for the uh, introduction. We'll uh, zoom out and see what it is that we've got to play with. Here we go. As you can see, we've got Hambrook, which is down here, this little sort of hamlet. I've called it a hamlet. I actually used to live in a town called Hambrook when I was growing up. So another place that I will be referencing fairly often. I've tarted it up a little bit using some of the props which uh, I've uh, got with mods and things so uh, all the trees which I've downloaded I can use but I can't use the trees which are in game yet so we'll start decorating more as we go but that just means that there's more for us to do as time goes on so that's nothing to worry about we've got all these lovely British houses uh, the road markings have all been changed I'll do my best to explain what mods I'm using and sort of why I'm using them and why I'm doing everything the way that I'm doing it as I go. But if you've got any specific questions, do let me know or hit me up on Twitter at the VR Sofa or in the comments section, and I will do my best to answer them all for you. Looking at the industrial estate, sorry. Um, over here we've got the unnamed lake, something that again you can all give me some suggestions. We've got Mount Moon, which I am going to keep the name of, which is this huge huge hill well it's mounted <laughs> this huge mountain over here and right at the peak i've put a little label so that i can remember what some of these things are called um i'm not sure what we're going to do with it at the moment it would be quite nice to have a cable car that goes up here or maybe a town somewhere maybe like um a ski resort maybe i could put some snow up there or something like that but things for later We've got this huge area over here which i've sort of called the moor the moors, because they're big and flat and there's not much going on. So there's loads of room for expansion. And then right down here, there's some more hills that I wanted to have a quick look at. The South Downs, which is also a real place where I used to live. So it uh, just basically means a lot of hills in one place. It's like a mini mountain range in a big long line. So I called it the South Downs because that's what it basically is. And we can use this very much so. We can uh, probably put, ooh, it would make quite a nice posh area over here I think round down by the bottom and then we could have like a monorail that came up and have a proper resort area up here like camper vans and uh, tents we could make this whole area because the, the real South Downs is a national park it's protected by the uh, National Trust so maybe I could make this into a National Trust park in game and we'll put all nice stuff in there and then down the bottom we could have a nice posh area here right by the motorway That'd be a nice idea, that's something to work on. One thing I have done is I've already moved and sorted out water because it's uh, quite a nice map to do that in. This isn't a map I made, I downloaded it. So we're by this big lake and then this goes all the way out to sea, to the, uh, to the English Channel, in fact. And it's even got quite a nice waterfall on it somewhere. Here it is, it's got quite a nice waterfall, some rapids. Be quite a good area to have. Any kind of parks around here would be really nice. I really look forward to decorating this whole area, but what's more important is just the water flow, because all the water is coming from here. All the water is coming from here, which is pushing all the sewage away, which is wonderful, because in the last map, as many of you will probably remember, we had a bit of a problem with sewage. It was washing up on land a lot, and that was because I didn't design it very well. However, here, the water all comes out from here. It's a bit cheeky of me to, I, I thought it was a bit cheeky at first, to put my water inlet here. Because it means that obviously we're basically sorted forever. It's basically infinite water. But I thought really in the canon of the world, this is just a natural um, spring. A huge natural spring and that's how the lake has formed. So the canon story in my head is still sound. So I'm okay with that now. I've adjusted. 
Um, the main plans that we've got today uh, that I haven't made any start on is I want to put some farmland in and I like the idea of filling some of this area to start with because we're making most if not all of our power from uh, these wind turbines which look very nice and pretty up on the wilds peak and uh, so I'd quite like to start some farmland down the bottom because we do want some industry though that's changed when I started ages and ages I had a start at this um uh, a couple of hours ago and when I finished what I'd done here and saved it I was almost 100% sure that it was nearly entirely industry that they wanted but that's changed they now want lots of houses so I might start some houses while we're here and then we'll get this farmland sorted up here because I don't want to really add to the town I want the whole map theme to be uh, little towns uh, we might have one city somewhere, but that's something that you can, again, you can give me suggestions on that, on where you think we should have uh, a main city. It'd be quite good, I think, personally, to have it about here. Because it's near the beach, it's quite a large flat area, good for industry, and it's right by the South Downs. So we'd then be able to sort of connect it quite well to any little towns or posh areas that we put nearby. So it would make a great place to have sort of outskirts, uh, we could use this railway quite we well. We could use this railway really well. Then I think it would be a, a great use of the map that we've been given. Because it ends over here, the railway. But we could connect that through really easily. And then we'd have a dead end here, which would be really good. There's loads of stuff we could do with that, actually, that I haven't really thought about. The track and the railway is something we didn't get to in the last map. So I'm really keen to get there in this one. Luckily, for houses, it's not so bad in this case because I'm going to be sticking with my British theme as much as possible. So I'm really going to try and use these houses as often as I can because they look really nice, these terraced buildings, and they really do. You see them everywhere in the UK, so it's just not the same without them, I don't think, anyway. So if we're going to stretch this road up here... Very nice, because I'm thinking if we're going to have this road come all the way along, it looks a bit dull. So I'm going to join it up here and make use of this road. But to do that, I had to do a bit of planning ahead of time and just stretch the road over. Because you don't know where the houses are going to end up until you've done it. So see if I put that there and then I'll make it so it fits into this gap a bit nicer. And then I should be able to put those houses back in. Or I'd like to, because it would be quite nice to have the street carry on. Bring that down a smidge. Hopefully these buildings won't mind too much. They're still there. I might actually move them, but they are still there for now. I'll just twist them manually and bring them back a little bit, because they've ended up... Oh, no, they've deleted themselves. That's fine. Wonderful. Excellent. So that will uh, start sorting that problem, and I will quickly time-lapse this whilst I add a few more houses. Okay, that's about all I can do for now because I haven't even unlocked the ability to put in paths yet and because I'm playing it without the mods which unlock everything for free, even the mods have locked. A lot of them are saying, you can't put this down because you haven't even unlocked it yet. So some of that will have to wait, but I've certainly worked on the housing problem. I don't want to go too far, I really don't. I don't want Hambrook to get any bigger because it's already encroaching on the limits of what I put down. It's already got it's got both schools, it's got an entire little ecosystem going, and that's all fine. So, we'll move over to the farm, which I'm going to put over here, I think. And that will leave us room to come round the back of Wild Peak and start a second town, maybe down here. And that can have uh, maybe a little estate on it. Be good to put some, we're going to need some housing estates dotted around in some of the green belts. And I think that's going to be something on our list quite soon. But, farm first. And we'll uh, work on it from there, because I'm going to have the farm come off of here. So I've got some very nice back roads with like uh, hedges and things on them. Oh, that's one way. We don't want the one way one. That's a nice rural A road, because we get some really nice roads um, in like uh, the middle of nowhere in England. Or I think that they're quite nice anyway. I think we have a lot of those. So I'm going to try and replicate some of it as best I can in this farming area 
I do have to delete some of the trees myself. That's one of my mods' problem. It decides the where and uh, the trees end up and they don't delete anymore. But I can do that in a moment. Don't you worry. Don't think I've actually got the ability to put down motorway parts yet. So we'll use some one-way A roads for now and I'll join them up later. And this will keep the motorway flowing. Always good to use separate ins and outs, I find, than to try and be all clever about it. Are there are two separate roads here. What's this? Oh, it's a line. Oh, okay, I'll delete that. That's one of my lines from earlier. I can get rid of that now. Okay, bring this in a bit. That should sort all of this out and smooth it out a bit because I don't want it to be... Oh, there we go. See, I knew something was going to go wrong. That's a little bit small. There we go. So that's a nice on and off for... Uh, the farm traffic. They won't get too caught up then and I'll have to work out some of this this in a minute to neat and tidy it all because there's loads of things we can do with the traffic up here. We can change lanes, uh, speed and who can go where but none of that's really relevant quite yet. For now we're just going to stick with getting this all sorted. <music> Sorted. We've uh, put down a little area for them. I've put down some haphazard B roads and A roads that are all a bit outbacky, and they should be fine. They're very quiet roads, but we can still build on them, and we'll set this to become farming because we've got loads of uh, industry special buildings that we still haven't unlocked yet, but it would be nice to use when they come around because I still haven't done a lot of the industry stuff. I still um, I haven't really delved into any of that. But uh, I can always go and check videos and you can always give me advice. I'm sure you'll all be there giving me any hints I need in the comments that uh, if, I, if I get confused or lost. Because I've never touched it. One of those things I just never got round to when I was playing the, when I play the game in my own time. Because it's quite a fair way in and matching up all these buildings and joining them together. Because it's like, if you want to make glass, you have to have somewhere that makes sand, join it to a warehouse that's got a refinery in it, that refines the sand into what you need to make the glass, it will melt it down, that gets sent to another factory, which will then make it into glass and sell it to a, the shops in the warehouses, which are in like the town centers. And you have to join all that up yourself. And I just, I just never found the time. Let's hit play and we'll see what happens in our farmland. It shouldn't take them very long. Uh, it is daytime. I've got it set with one mod that sets it to be up like real time. So they won't build unless it's daytime between certain times of day. Because if it's uh, nighttime, they won't build houses. They shouldn't build houses in the nighttime. That doesn't make any sense. In nighttime, there are no uh, houses being built or buildings being built of any sort. Builders don't work. Let's just get rid of these trees quickly. There's some of them, and we'll get rid of those ones, because I think the ones in the way of buildings will be fine. I'm not too worried about those, but the ones which are on the road are uh, a bit much for me. I cannot allow the ones on the road to stay there. Oh yeah, none of them have got power or water. That's something to deal with immediately, yes. Luckily, we've got the coin for it, where I've been letting it sit there and build up funds for a while. Uh, we might as well just do the whole area, to be honest. Last bit in the corner, and that's that all sorted. Okay, they've now got water, and as far as I'm aware, they should actually have power, because the power cable comes right by here. Oh no, not quite. Very, very nearly. So I'll drag this over, and we'll actually give them some electricity. They'll love that. There. Brilliant. Now they want housing again. Oh my god, horrible weather. The British Republic is having terrible weather. I hope we don't have any thunderstorms at the moment because uh, the fire brigades got, are going to be a bit stretched soon. They're going to have to make trips all the way up here. I think we'll be okay as, we look, as long as we keep the budget up for now because there's not a huge amount to deal with. And then when we move up to another town over here, we'll put another fire station and everything here. And the two together should work to cover any spaces in between. Well, that's my long-term goal. I've been wrong before though, so we'll see. Oh, it's very dark out here on these roads being all um being all rural. Kinda cool seeing everybody's headlights though and reflecting off of the actual road itself. When you've got all the headlights, um oh it's a police car. But when you see all of the uh the street lamps on, it somewhat takes away from all of the lighting effects in game. I can actually see that it's nighttime and that all the buildings are switched off really appreciate all those little effects that are going on that's really cool actually i might use these roads more often out here in these rural areas i need to use more of them over here i think i did use one 
leading around on this side because I wanted it to again be quite quiet. I want them to all look like they've been left alone for long periods of time, these, these houses. I don't want these towns to look new. I want them to look lived in and British. And that's what we're going to be able to do, hopefully. Okay, let's fast forward to daytime, shall we, and have a little, uh, and, and we'll just wait for that for a moment. There we go, and we're back in action. Much nicer. Now, uh, they've had time overnight to really think about their life choices, and it seems that they've decided that this was more than enough more than enough farming uh, for them and they actually want an entirely new housing estate sadly i was hoping i don't know if i want to build the town over here now i was kind of hoping to leave that for a little while i want to stay and concentrate over this side and get these two areas up and running so i'm going to take a bit of a stab and pretend that i'm a housing developer and i'm looking at this from above and thinking where would i put a little housing estate and i'm thinking in here just clipped on here because we can bulk up this road quite easily to deal with any extra traffic and we won't be influencing influencing we won't be bothering these guys or these guys or hacking at the traffic so it should be a really good and normal idea so i'm going to start building a posh housing estate i say posh it's all new basically it just has to look like a new housing estate that's all been built in one go and I'm going to put that here, hopefully, and I'll do that in a nice time-lapse for you. And that time-lapse will uh, happen now in my, in my radio voice. Prepare yourself for a wonderful time-lapse. And we're back that's everything sorted other than sewage because for some reason they're not connected or at least there might not be enough power i think power might be a bit low yes power is very low so let's put our budget up a bit but on a side note we have powered through the first of our um milestones we're a tiny town now so we unlocked park areas industry landscaping uh, events policies parks, industry areas, so we can start doing those scary things that we've never done before. Uh, we've also got football, so we can put down football stadiums and things, which is quite a lot of fun. And we've got all of this, all new roads and park facilities and all sorts of wonderful things. And I've started decorating with trees, putting in paths, I've put in a fence around the outside of our new housing development. We've done it quite nicely. What I've done is I've got some affordable housing on the right, 
some nice terraces for housing, at, well for housing, for families and then on the left we've got the more expensive houses which are large terraced houses and some big blocks of flats which would probably be the most expensive I would think because they have a nice view and they would also maybe get their own parking spaces so there's these nice parking uh, areas everywhere as well. I do need to do lots more to it but for now I think it works as a very neat and tidy housing estate so we'll just square this off quickly and then we can name it or should I let you guys name it I'm just gonna call it housing for now and I'll let you guys come up with a name for this that could be your first challenge your first bit of homework is to come up with a name for what we will call our first posh housing estate it's going to have um, hopefully I might put a little pond in the middle I was thinking if I can find room I'd like to put some water in here somewhere I'd also like to uh, add some paths that come through it and out the other side and connect it up to all of our farms over here so if that helps you inspire for what uh, a name then there you go hit me up in the comments down below because for now this is going to be called the town who shall not be named until somebody on the internet, one of you wonderful people, names it. So there we go, they can all live there quite happily. How are we doing for power? It's still very low, but I need to hit play to see if it adjusts itself. There we go, much better. These people have power, and it looks like sewage is sorting itself out. We're quite close, so I might go as far as to put down another one of these up on the hill. Up on Power Mountain, <laughs> we shall put another one. And that should boost us past, way past what we need. Yeah, now we're fine for power. Okay, we've got housing and that has literally obliterated any need for housing that they had. Next is shopping. Shopping's a tricky one because again, I don't really want to encroach on this town. And if we're gonna have put something like this here, chances are they'd have said, well, oh, you're going to have to put in a shopping center or something for the extra people. Otherwise, everyone's going to be going to this town. It'll be inundated with people. The roads won't be able to take it and we'll get loads of complaints. So I would think that on this corner, you'd probably end up with a sort of a Tesco or something. Um, I might do a time-lapse episode of that because I built a Tesco in my last time-lapse video that I did and I'd quite like to do another one but maybe I won't do a Tesco, maybe we'll do an Asda's or something a bit different, I'd love to do that so that's something I will work on for them but for now I think we've done quite a lot in this episode, we've got a, a few time-lapses out of the way, I wanted to keep it a bit shorter and a bit more concise than normal because sometimes uh, I go off on a lot of tangents but I want to keep it neat and tidy so you guys can get involved more. Um, I do want to, like I say, do some more stuff over here soon so that over here by Mount, Mount, Mount Mountain, Mount Moon and down here on the other side of Wild Peak is where I'd like to build next and we will start building the next town and we can maybe think about joining it through Wild Peak. We can maybe do a tunnel or a hill road, maybe even a railway or a monorail if we've unlocked it. Well, what have we got now? Do we have buses? I think we might have buses. No, we don't have any public transport, that is a lie. So we will definitely be working on some more housing, sorting out of that town and then putting a road through the hills for us in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining me this time. If you liked any of that, please hit the like button. It really helps us out on the channel. If you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber because I do all these amazing videos, not just in here, but I do the time lapses. I do, uh, we do VR videos. I've got my mates, Mike and Todd. They often come around and we do some uh, sort of GTA or or we do some online stuff together. It's all quite funny, really, and I'm really pleased to do all the editing and sound effects. It gives me a, a real a real kick seeing that everyone's really enjoying the content. So do let me know how it's going in those comments, and we will see you all in the next wonderful episode of City Skylines, the British Republic. Goodbye.